Here's a simple character that was modeled in Maya with a 2D animation aesthetic. He's comprised of polygonal shapes that defines color and line work, which are stacked on top of each other and oriented towards the camera. In the last video, I showed you a few modeling techniques that can be used to create this type of puppet. And in this video, I'll show you how you can animate it. Since this character has been modeled towards the camera, it can be a little tricky to animate compared to a standard 3D rig. If we want to animate him turning his head, we can't just rotate the Y axis because that will reveal all of his flattened layers and this breaks the illusion. So I'll show you how we can animate a simple head turn with this type of a character. I'd normally animate this pose to pose, but I used a layered method just to make it a little simpler to follow. So starting with just the head movement, we have his first pose, add a small upward movement for his reaction, and then add a breakdown as he dips down to start moving screen left. And now I want him to turn his head, but if I rotate him in Y, then it's obvious that he's a flat puppet. So instead of rotating him, I'll animate his scale channel. So I set a minus one scale in the X channel on frame 19, and that'll flip him horizontally in just one frame. We then add some ease in and ease out, just so the timing isn't so even, and this is now good enough to show the rough motion of the head turn. And now we can start animating the other pieces. He reacts first before he turns, so we can have the eyes go up a little bit, and then they can go screen left and lead his turn, and then we can reshape the eyes with rotations and scales, and kind of move them inward a little bit so they seem to rotate around the face. Same with the nose, move that and rotate it so it looks like it's starting to create a 3D move a little bit with these flat kind of shapes. And now we can animate his mouth dropping and changing expression. I want his mouth to animate from a smile to a frown, so we'll drop it, scale it down, shrink the corner of the mouth curve, and then we can turn that off by animating visibility on frame 13. We just need the small curve for the smile at the beginning. To create the illusion that he's turning towards us, we can animate the nose to look like it's from our front view for a couple frames, and I'll move it in Z so it's in front of both the eyes. And by animating the black shape behind the nose, we can change its line and essentially redraw the way the nose looks from the front. And now we can adjust the ear and depth and make it look like it wraps around the back of the head. Remember that frame 19 is the frame where he flips by a minus one in X, so both the eyes and the ears change sides. This works fine for a symmetrical character. You just have to animate the features so that they transition through this flip seamlessly. Now animate the Z-depth of the eye and the nose and put them in the right stacking order again. Now it's time to rough animate the mouth. I want him to frown before he turns his head, so I'm planning to change its shape, but for now I just need to animate it moving over that flip frame and then dropping it down for that final expression. So I rotated and flipped the mouth with a minus scale on frame 19 and then animate it dropping down to the final pose. And that's good enough for the mouth for now. Now the ear needs to come forward and be posed in the same place it was originally. So I'll grab the values for frame nine, where it looked good, and copy them to frame 19 with the middle mouse button. And then animate it dropping down a little bit further for the last expression. This character is only built with one ear, but it'll help that front drawing if we add another. So we can duplicate the one ear, scale it, and animate its visibility for a few frames just where we need it. And now I'll go back to the mouth and animate its shape. This is a super simple hierarchy rig. So for this example, I'm gonna animate the vertices for the major mouth changes. And now we can essentially remodel the geometry for the drawn shape that we want. I made the mouth compress upwards on the turn to add some squash and then adjusted the final mouth pose. I really like animating these kind of shape changes because they make the character look just so much more organic and hand drawn. For instance, his head has a modeled in C shape to it so if we vary it and give him some stretch and contrast, it just makes him look so much more interesting. I'm picking both the color and the line shapes at the same time to make these shape changes, but I'll probably have to go back later to adjust some line widths. Here we add a little squash to his head shape as he turns, and I have to manage that shape change from frame 18 to 19 on the flip. And we can give him a reverse C shape for his last pose. The nose is a little bit messy on the turn, so we can also adjust the vertices to better shape it and make a better drawing out of it. And this is something I love about this process, is that we can animate the vertices to control that thick and thin of the black line itself, which makes it really controllable and clean. Now the eyes can be reshaped for better poses, and that's it. This is just a simple example of this technique, but I hope that it explains how we can use this method to create a flat 2D animated style using 3D software like Maya. Thanks for watching.